G'day folks, it's Easter Saturday and I'm going Murray Cod fishing from my kayak. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now it's Easter Saturday, it's smack bang in the middle of April. The river looks fantastic. It always does this time of year. Every year in the middle of autumn, it starts to get a real nice light green tinge and it gets quite clear and it just looks fantastic, but it never always fishes the best. This time of year can be very hit and miss. The last two days I've been out fishing and I've had a miss, both days. I spent, uh, I think it was four and a half hours kayak fishing to the day before yesterday, as Easter, the Wednesday before Easter it was, four and a half hours in the lower ovens river, not a touch. Then the day after I went carp fishing in a lagoon for four hours, not a single bite. The law of averages says that eventually if I keep missing I'm going to have to hit. Hopefully I can hit the jackpot tonight and catch a cod from my kayak. Now this is what I'm taking, check this out, one of the good things about being on private property is that I can just leave my sandals there on the bank and they should be there when I get back. <laughs> I've got my gum boots in the back just in case, I, the, the water's quite low today so I brought them with me in case I need to get out and drag my kayak through the long grass or anything. Bit of snake protection. Some lures, fish clips, camera gear, life jacket, paddle, kayak, rod, let's go fishing. Oh that water is quite cold around my feet. Now some of you may remember back in the summertime when I done a, I filmed a review for One Well Lures of their new lure, their lunch lure. Well this is the newest version of that lure. This is the new 133mm lunch. 133mm from the end of the bib to the end of the lure. It's quite a decent sized cod lure. They've only just come out this week. And One Well sent me some. Thanks One Well. Let's see how they work. Being that it's the middle... Oh, got him! I was just about to say, being that it's the middle of April, I'm not expecting too much. Look, uh, they work. Yep, they work. I don't like catching fish on the first cast. I think it's a bad omen. <laughs> hopefully it's a, uh, hopefully it's not a bad omen because bang, straight away. So from the one cast that I've made, one thing I can tell you is that they cast very well. That cast like a dream. And from the, the, the short little swim it had, it seemed to swim quite well too. I'll hold it up and get a bit of proper camera footage. The pump hole never fails, hey? Look at that. What a beautiful Murray Cod of around 50 centimetres long. Caught on the new 133mm one well. Well, they work. Let's see if I can get some release footage. I think I stuffed up the release footage. I bloody let go of the fish before I hit record. <laughs> Although with a start like that, I can't complain. You ripper. Well, I just looked at that footage and, uh, yep, I well and truly stuffed up that release footage. I actually let go of the fish before I hit record. But how good's that? I started there, on that smooth bit where I can get my kayak in. I paddled out, made one cast there and caught a fish right under the pump hole. Keep on rocking me baby. Keep on rocking me baby. Here we go. Keep on rocking in free world. Well folks, I've gone about as far as I'm going to go downstream by the looks of it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fish my way back up towards the car, which is only three or four hundred metres up there. But I'm going to change lures. This one that I've been using that I caught that fish on is called Peacock Bass. So I'm going to take the Peacock Bass off. Just because I've already fished this water with this lure, so if I'm going to fish the same water again, I'm probably better off to do it with a different colour. And I'm going to go to this one, just because it's different to what I've already tried in that same spot. This is Flamingo. And then I'll go upstream from the car, and I've got access to some really nice water upstream through there. Right, I know, time for yet another lure change. I've had the uh, P 
peacock bass, then the flamingo, then the peacock bass again. Now check out this Larry, hairy Larry from Donaldson's Dairy. I think that's called Neon Lights. I'm very impressed with the colours. Get these big lunch lures, these 133mm lunch lures come in. Oh, I can see that from here. That stands out like dog's balls. Got him! Yes! Guilty! Finally! This is a lovely fish! Right! I'll turn around so that I'm not facing into the sun. I had to make sure I'm recording here. I was a mile away then. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Bob the Builder, can you fix it? Yes, you can. Right. This is bigger than the last fish, I reckon. I'll see if I can get a bit better release footage this time. It's currently 3.50. I've been going for over two hours. I caught a fish on the first cast and then nothing for two hours. I'll tell you what, when I did, it's a good fish. It's, it'll be a legal fish, this one. I'm not going to measure it, but it's got to be, I reckon, 57 or 58. Got him. Right. What are you going to look at this? I'll uh, swap hands. But this hand, look at that for a fish. That is a ripper. Gee whiz, that's high 50s. What's the current doing with me? I'll unhook him and see if I can get a bit better release footage than I did with the last one. All right, now Robbie, start the camera, then release the fish. Right on, Cod. Gone. At least I started the camera before I released the fish that time. <laughs> Well, that release footage went a little bit more smoothly. I was miles away. I was just looking at the sun and I'm thinking, I hope I'm not going to have the sun in my eyes all the way back because I've just had to turn around. I can't get any further here. Even if I do go out and drag around, I can only get about 50 metres and then there's a huge tree. So I was going back down. I'm thinking, I hope the sun's not there. And all of a sudden there's a fish on the other end of my line trying to pull the rod out of my hand. Neon lights. I think this is my favourite colour. There's some, I'm really impressed with the colour range of the 133mm one well lunches. They're a great lure. I'm impressed with the way they cast. They're an awesome casting lure. They dive well, but I love the colour range as well. And that one there is an absolute ripper. And I'm going to stick with that. It's taken nearly two and a half hours since I caught the first fish. I've been thinking, how am I going to edit this video? Film the intro, catch a fish on the first cast, then just write, you know, four hours later. Thanks for watching. But now I've got a second fish. It's slow, and that's the middle of April. Oh yes, nice fish right. Oh look at that! <laughs> Spectacular, he jumped out of the water. That helped that I was lifting the rod up at the time, but still, I've seen I've had the odd cod jump out of the water before, but never like that. <laughs> that was unreal. That was next level, that was like a trout. I didn't lift the rod up that high, I just had upward pressure so the hook didn't fall out. Gee, that one hit hard. Oh, got him. First things first, check and make sure that I am recording. Yep, and then I have got battery, not very much. 10% battery left. Just wet my hand. That's another, that's another good cod, good 50 centimetre cod there I reckon. 50 to 52, bloody ripper. I'll unhook him and get him back. Go on. 
Gee, I had my finger in the side of the screen then. How professional is that? Well, folks, four and a half hours, three cod. I've had to work for my fish, but I was rewarded because they were beautiful fish. Now, there will be links to everything that I've used in this video in the video description below. And I keep forgetting to tell you this. You can actually get 10% off the lunch lures if you use my discount code Robbie10. I do have a discount code with One Well Fishing. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.